What's up, guys? We're gonna jump right into this. I tend to talk too much before cracking it open. I've been watching my old videos. I tend to talk well into two, three minutes before tasting something. I gotta stop doing that. And I accidentally hard pour a beer. Back to my unorthodox style. I'm gonna let you guys figure out what this might be. I'm gonna narrow it down. There's a lot of different styles of beer, so I'm gonna narrow it down. This is an IPA. This is from Orpheus. Orpheus is here in Atlanta. I sent my guy Ridge a double IPA from them, Transmigration of Souls. That's Transmigration of Souls with the weird owl, owl humanoid thing. I don't know what that is. So this is from them. I'm gonna let you guys guess based on the look and I'm gonna give y'all the notes. Cascade, pine cones, sharp, sharp hops, crisp, clean, sharp hops. This smells super duper fresh, super duper. Very, very fresh, fresh out the tank, man. Yeah, it's fresh out the tank, fresh out the brewery. Brr, brr, brewery. It's fresh out. But more, I get Cascade more than anything. This reminds me of a Founder Centennial IPA. That's what this reminds me of. <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip, tell y'all my first, my first reaction. You can drop on some more comments, and then I'm going to tell y'all what this is. Cheers. Sierra Nevada Torpedo. That's what this tastes like. That's not what this is. Let's take another sip. Mm. It kind of looks like it, too. <sighs> the can art, hella cool. Check out the can art. It's a mosquito taking blood from whatever that thing is. This is called the in in Inevitable Inn. It's a West Coast IPA from Orpheus. And I love when I, I see some guys from down south try to duplicate a West Coast IPA. Hard to do. Very hard to do. You got to get past Lagunitas. You got to get past Green Flash, North Park, Stone. The list goes on. I think we need to stop. Why can't we get back into Southern IPAs like Jekyll, Hop Dang Diggity? Why can't we do our own thing? Why are we trying to follow people? This tastes like Torpedo. And anybody that's been following my videos over the last year or two, you know. That was it. I can't even drink Torpedo. I drank so much Torpedo. 2008, 2009, 2010. I drink a lot of Torpedo. I can't drink it no more. Just like Yingling, Heineken, Stella, Negra Modelo. Like, there's certain beers where I went through my phase where that's all I drink. This tastes exactly like Torpedo. So points for that, but I'm gonna deduct those same points because y'all know me. I need originality. Where is it? You know, they say flatter, uh, uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. So we going by that. 4.8 out of 5 stars. If we're going from imitation. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. So they say. You know what Blue Ice says. Come original or keep it moving. Um, so I don't like this. I don't like it. Had I not had over, who's counting? Let's say a good ballpark. Let's say 10,000. 
I've been drinking craft beer since 2008. It is now 2022. Between 2013 and 2017, for four years, I traveled all over America. And during those travels, I tasted a lot of beers, a lot of beers. So let's just say 10,000. That was when? 14 years ago? That makes sense. Then I traveled consistently for four years. Then I used to hang out at breweries when I was a bartender. So let's say every brewery I hit, I would taste. We not not drink, taste. 50, 40. I remember, I remember going to Monday night, going on a tour, tasted 40 beers. Easy, easy. So with that being said, man, I'm not new to this. So this, it take a lot to get past me. It take a lot to impress me. I don't like this. 6.8% blazing, clear, resiny, bitter, tenacious. You, you just described Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Mm. If you knew better, you do better. Cheers.